What is Mozo? Mozo is the key essential thing you need in order to unlock all the special abilities and items in the game, such as the God Bag, God Armor, God Tools, God Rock, and the special abilities such as Water Walker, Survivalist, and all these beautiful pets. How do you get Mozo? You earn one Mozo every time you rebirth, and in order to rebirth, you must first reach level 100. And that brings us to the question, what's the fastest way to level up? And that's exactly what this video is for, guys. I'll be showing you guys the top 3 best and most efficient ways to level up in Booga Booga Reborn. Whether you're just a beginner or an experienced player, this video will help you guys out so let's get started the first method is the sky island now before we go to the first floating island there's this one giant celly below on the ground it's a good source of xp if you mine it you'll earn 70 xp from killing it and mining everything it drops so just make sure you guys go ahead and destroy the celly anyways now that we're done with the giant celly we can actually go ahead and move on to the first floating island right up here now the sky island is one of the best places to level up in the entire game has almost everything you need to level up it's also a good source of farming crystals if you're after that but we're not after that today we're actually here after the miserable god and most importantly the feather bushes there's 10 feather bushes surrounding the sky island each feather bush gives you one essence which decreases to 10 xp so all 10 feather bushes together are 100 xp and these feather bushes respawn insanely fast guys every one minute and 20 seconds so by the time you make a wonderful circle around this island the feather bush already respawns so if you do the math, you're pretty much getting 100 XP every 1 minute and 20 seconds. And when it comes to the Miserable God, it gives you 14 Essence, aka 140 XP, decent amount to level up. So if you have a good tool, might as well go for it. But other than that, just go for the Feather Burst. It doesn't require you to have advanced tools or anything like that. And if you keep repeating the method going around chopping all the feather bushes, pretty soon you guys will realize you're leveling up very very fast. I'll keep leveling up until I'm around level 50, and then I'll show you guys the method number 2. What's this guy doing on my island? Yo, this is private property! Okay, I'm gonna get this guy off my island. This is how you do it, boys. My guy, here. You want some crystals? I'll give you some crystals. Just please get the hell out of my island. I'll sour you with crystals for days, man. This will last you a lifetime. Now, hop on out of here. Move! Get out of here. Skedaddle! He's on his way now. <laughs> That's how you get them off the island. The brokey smacks them with god rock. The richie slaps them with money. Anyways, method number two on the best place to level up is gonna be at the ice land. This is also my personal favorite place to come by and level up since it's a pretty clean and beautiful environment. But objectively, the ice land has the wealthy god, two giant celly, one and two, one selden, and the sell by. Altogether, it's 633 XP in total. So if you have good tools and happen to be near the ice land, I would highly recommend mining everything that's on this part of the island. It's a pretty solid way to gain XP and level up fast. Anyways, in the ice land, we will start off by mining the wealthy god. And make sure you guys also place a wall right behind it, because there's actually a sliding hole behind this wealthy god. So it's better to just place a wall, stop it from sliding down, and keep all the essence contained. The wealthy god gives you 15 essence. And for the giant cell, if you mine it and destroy everything it drops, it's worth 70 XP. And moving on to the Selden, it's worth 76 XP. It drops 4 Essence and 2 Emerald Cellies. So in case you're in need of Emeralds, this is also a good place to get those. Anyways, moving on to the Selden, it's the largest Celly on the island and also gives the most amount of XP out of everything here. It has 5000 health, but it definitely is worth it if you have the good enough tools for it. Once you mine it, it gives you 25 XP just from breaking it and it drops 8 Essence, 2 Giant Cellies, 2 Pink Cellies and 2 Gold Cells. After you guys are done with all of that, you guys can go ahead and mine the last Giant Celly. Now the final number one best of the best method overall for leveling up is gonna be the ancient tree and the old god. The ancient tree is located on the second floating island called the sun tree island. Now this island has 11 sun trees guys. Each one gives you one essence. So all 11 sun trees combined is 110 xp. So make sure you guys go around and cut all those down. Also for this sun tree it's right on the edge. So what you guys want to go ahead and do is place a wall. So that way the essence doesn't drop and you guys can pick it up. Once you guys have mined all the 11 sun trees and collected the essence, we can now move on to the ancient tree. First thing first, make sure you guys go ahead and place a stone tower, and then right underneath the ancient tree, place a dock. And the reason why we do this is because there's actually a hole right underneath the ancient tree. So by placing the dock, we're blocking the hole and preventing all the essence from dropping in the ocean. The ancient tree drops 100 essence, giving you 1000 XP, and the ancient tree has 30,000 health guys. So when it comes to mozos, I highly encourage you guys to get the god axe as your first mozo item. Because although it costs 2 mozos, the god axe is extremely powerful. It does 50 damage per hit, taking the ancient tree down in just 4 minutes and 20 seconds. And you guys can just join another server, mine the ancient tree again, level up a ton, and repeat the same process again and again. Getting the god axe as your first mozo is the best decision you guys will ever make when starting out on this game. Because with the help of the god axe, it will exponentially help your leveling up process for the rest of your journey. It will basically speed up the process of getting the rest of the mozo. Yeah. 
Yo, what's that man doing all the way over there? Hey, don't you dare. Don't even think about it. Hey, hey, yo. This is my territory, bro. Don't you dare. I said, I said back off. Back off now. Okay, you know what? Fine. Fall. Fall and break your leg. We will kill you. Tear your heart out. Well, I will absolutely vanish you. Get the hell out of here. I'll feed your heart to a lion, man. Sharp teeth. Out. Talking about ripping my heart out. You don't let anyone harass you in this game. Alright, we're almost done with the ancient tree now. And bang, there you go. Once you break the ancient tree, as you can see, all the 100 essence gets packed into one place. Make sure you guys also have quick pickup on, by the way. If it's green, that means you have it enabled. And you guys can just hold F and pick up everything super, super fast. There you go, yep. Pick up all the 100 essence, bro. Oh, yeah, gimme, give gimme. Give gimme, give gimme, 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 gimme. Also, by the time you guys have finished mining the ancient tree, all the 11 sun trees will have respawned by now. So make sure you guys go around and top all these sun trees down and get those extra XP from the SNA drops. Really helps you level up a lot. After you guys are done with that, the next stop is the old god. You have to go over to that small little island, the one with the water sinkhole. This island also has four more sun trees, guys, giving you more opportunity to level up. So top all these downs as well for extra XP. Once that's done, we can now jump down in the water sinkhole. And this is exactly where it will lead us to the old god cave, guys. And it's also the final thing we have to mine. The old god is very essential for leveling up since it drops 40 essence, equivalent to 400 XP, guys. However, in this cave, there will be ants that will constantly keep spawning and trying to kill you. So in order to get rid of that issue, what you guys want to go ahead and do is go to the right side and climb up here. And then place a wooden wall right there. Now what this will do is since the ants are attracted to wood, it will try to go ahead and get it, but it's not smart enough to climb from the side. So the ants will just be stuck here trying to get it, and you can now peacefully start mining the old god. Make sure you guys also place an ice wall right here, so when you finish mining the old god, all the essence doesn't go all over the place. Alright, we have almost finished mining the old god, and there you go! Look at all those essence, baby! Gimme, gimme! Gimme, 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 gimme! Oh yeah! Wonderful! Look at those levels go up! Well, anyways, that's all the three methods I had to show you guys. And as I said earlier in the video, I highly recommend you guys to get the God Axe first thing first. It costs two modes, but it truly is worth it, guys. You guys can find the server with the ancient tree and destroy it in just four minutes and get all the 100 S and it drops, aka 1000 XP. And server hop to another server that has the ancient tree and do the same thing again and keep repeating that process to level up insanely fast. And if you have a VIP private server, even better. And with that said, I hope this video really helped you guys out. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love reading and hearting you guys comments this is my first video back to booga booga after a while and i'll definitely be doing more videos on this game so make sure you guys are subscribed with notification on to get notified whenever i post a new video anyways with that said you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next one